This is a story that I don't like to tell. In fact, I tried to put it all behind me until this morning when I received a terrifying letter in the mail. A bit of backstory, this all started about three years ago when I was living in Boston with my girlfriend, Anna. Anna and I met at a party. I had stepped outside to get some air when I saw her smoking a cigarette underneath a street lamp. I wasn't much of a smoker, but she was pretty and I was alone, so I went ahead and asked if she had an extra. Tell me your name and it's yours. Those were the first words she ever said to me. We moved in together a year later. Things went pretty well over the next few years. We both graduated from high school. She was a semester behind me. I found a job with a research institution in Cambridge, and she was starting to freelance while she worked on her grad school applications. And then one day everything changed. Anna was gone. It took a few minutes for me to realize that I had just stepped out of the shower and was getting dressed in the bedroom. She had been in the next room watching TV on her laptop. I called out a question to her from the bedroom. No response. I didn't think much of it. Finishing putting on my clothes, I walked into the living room and she was gone. The TV was still on. Her laptop was on the couch. I figured she must have stepped outside. Maybe she ran to the bodega for a pack of cigarettes or something to eat. Totally normal. I sent her a text. Hey, where'd you go? And made myself a tuna sandwich for lunch. It's funny how you remember certain details. A tuna sandwich. It took me about an hour to realize something was wrong. We had plans to meet up with some friends that afternoon, and it was nearly 2 p.m. now. She hadn't responded to my text, so I decided to give her a call. What happens next is something that I still don't understand, even years later. It was one of those moments which causes you to question everything and reconsider the laws of reality. It terrifies me to think about it, but it's true, and this is how it happened. I called in his phone. Within a few seconds, it began to ring. I heard a vibration coming from across the room. I walked over and saw her cell phone sitting on the table. She must have forgotten it, I thought. As the call ended, I saw the previous text message I had sent her, still on red on her lock screen. Then I noticed that her other things were still in the apartment too. Her shoes, purse, phone, even the keys. I was so confused, I started to panic. I checked in the closets and underneath the bed. I looked out the window to see if she went down the street. I decided to go outside and look around the neighborhood. Maybe she just stepped out for a cigarette, forgot her stuff and locked herself out. But as I walked up to our front door, I saw something which still makes me sick to my stomach when I think about it. The chain bolt on the inside of the door was locked. She never opened the door. We never found Anna. The police got involved. There was an investigation. It was the worst experience of my life. My girlfriend had simply vanished and I had no way to explain it. The police had a hard time buying my story. There was no way in or out of the apartment besides the front door and it was locked. She was gone. It just didn't add up. Since then, I've tried to move on with my life. It took a few years, but I was able to rebuild and start living again. I left Boston, found a new job in North Carolina, and even started dating a girl I met online a few months ago. That is, until this afternoon. I just got home a few hours ago. It had been a few days since I checked the mail. It's only bills these days. So I looked inside and found a large white envelope. And then I looked at the return address. The letter is from Anna. It's even got our old address on it. It's in her handwriting. I haven't opened it yet. I'm waiting on the police to arrive. So I'm not alone. I'm terrified to look inside.